Mangroves are found along Guyana's coastline and near rivers in other parts of the country. They help to protect the land and the people who live there from rising sea levels and flooding. This is particularly crucial on the low-lying coastal plain where rising sea levels breed sea defenses and contribute to flooding. Because of the value of mangroves, the European Union has opted to continue its long-standing support for Ghana's sea defenses, but this time it is plugging funds into mangrove management and restoration efforts. A new 4.6 million euros budget support program to do just that was inked on Wednesday night by Finance Minister Dr. Ashni Singh and Executive Vice President of the European Commission Franz Timmermans at State House, President Irfan Ali's official residence in Georgetown. We have 200,000 hectares of coastal area, which is some of which is covered by mangrove and some of which are very suitable for the rejuvenation and expansion of mangrove. The expansion of the mangrove is a proven concept for climate mitigation, as mangroves store five times the carbon stock uh, as other forest sites. So this is an important fact. The mangrove sco stores five times uh, the carbon stock of any other forest type. Mangroves is also because of the lay of layout of Guyana, the mangroves is also closely integrated into the bulk of the population. So it provides some important opportunity for livelihood option, uh, whether it's beekeeping, honey production. Uh, so all of these things can help in uh, optimizing the value of the mangrove. Mr. Timmermans, who is among the high-ranking EU officials to visit Guyana, said the EU is particularly keen on continuing its support of Ghana's coastal protection efforts. Mangroves are such a huge uh, contribution to our fight against the climate crisis. Uh, they are a huge uh, reserve of biodiversity uh, and they, I mean, if you I had the occasion to see it from, from the air today, if you look at the extent of the mangroves in, in this country, I mean, it is a collective responsibility, I believe, of humanity to maintain them and to strengthen them. And I'm just more than, more than thrilled that we can be partners with Guyana in this effort. Previously, the EU provided budget support to Guyana to help the country fortify sea defences on the coast. In December 2021, the final tranche of 34 million euros in a multi-year agreement between Guyana and the EU was dispersed. These funds were all used to prop up the country's vulnerable sea defences. Reporting for the newsroom, Fishani Ragabir.